Hi guys, welcome back. It's time to talk about uh, Google Pixel Launcher again. So I've shown you guys many many videos in past like you know uh, how you can create the Pixel Launcher and how you can create the Android or Pixel Launcher. So uh, today we are going to talk again about that. There are some new update came. So first off guys, please check the video description. So a couple of developers has created a new launcher. So thank you so much to those developers. For example, Amir Zadi who has created such beautiful launcher again. So I'm just telling the story in the short. So a few of the developers have combined the AOSP Launcher 3 which is again a pixel based launcher and they studied the Google Pixel Launcher and they created a new launcher and they named as a Pixel Launcher because eventually it has to be renamed in the same way to get this Google Now Swipe feature working. So please check the video description again. I'm telling you there are a lot of things going on and uh, within just two days and uh, this post has got more than 15k comments 15k I'm telling you again so a lot of people are currently active so I was just following this thing here so first off you need to install an APK and uh, this APK method is going to work on all the devices whether you're rooted or non-rooted so the important feature you're going to get this year this Google Law Swipe is working and since this is first version of the launcher a few things may not work so you guys have to patience and wait for the new APK once it will release I will test that I will show you guys again so this uh, launcher needs a minimum of uh, Android Lollipop it's not gonna work on KitKat Jelly Bean I've already tried that so you can see uh, with this first version you're gonna get this thing here this Google Now page is working this GPL animation that is this thing here you know which is fading out this is gonna work and swipe up every open this you know to open this app draw this thing is also working this weather widget you know I've tested that it is working fine and the date widget with correct time and format so these things are working so what are things are not working you know uh, for example some features like uh, you can see this uh, uh, app shortcuts it needs some specific platform version for example this things is going to work in case you have the Android Nougat 7.1.1 otherwise it may show you SIP app info or widget info it's possibly something you can get that and I will, we will test that later and uh, it, it is working on uh, most of the devices for example it is working on the android o running on the nexus 6p i have not tried that but i have shown taken many of the comments uh, with people shows they are working i have i'm doing some work so i cannot reboot my phone right now the time i'm filming the video but i hoping it should work uh, it is working on the android marshmallow and the nougat and also it is working on the galaxy uh, s7 devices and also guys there are some limitation for the galaxy s8 which are snapdragon bigs for example uh, there are Samsung secure folder as Samsung Knox. So one solution is that either you should disable the Samsung Knox or you know Samsung folder which is definitely not possible. So there is a new APK version created. That's what I said initially when I tried to install it was not working there but uh, you guys have to uh, follow that channel and I will put the direct Galaxy S8 link you can see. I have this Knox based version installed. Now after installing that I have this uh, Pixel launch installed perfectly. But as I said here guys, few things cannot work as you can see because some feature needs uh, this, you know, uh, Android Nougat 7.1.1 as you can see. So somehow you need to sacrifice as now but in future uh, when there's new APK available, it should work. So once again, in the video description, there are long listing posts, follow that in case you have a device. So you, you may get some solution. So I'm going to show you guys here on both the devices. You can see already I have installed that on my Galaxy S8 which is non-rooted. With this version, I'll put that direct link to and also I'll put the updated link 1.2 for the devices. So please check the description. Now I'm going to show you guys here on a phone which is rooted. So this is my OnePlus 3 here running Android Nougat 7.1.1 and it is rooted as of now. I'm just checking here again. You can see this is rooted. So already I have downloaded this first version file here. So hold on. I'm just quickly going to download this updated 1.2. I'm just downloading the latest 1.2 APK debug file. Okay guys, so I got my file downloaded here. I'm just going to install it here. So let's see how does it go. So this is Android Nuka 7.1.1 install. Once you have it installed, uh, just go to the setting here and make sure to, you know, do something here. For example, first you need to go inside apps here and you have to, I'm just saying here, you just have to give permission. Otherwise it's not necessary. So there is your pixel launcher. Here's the one. You just have to give some permission here. All right, and you have to make sure the site is a default otherwise few things may not work so home app here you can see launcher that you guys have to set once you do that uh, just you can see you got your pixel launcher working and the best thing is that you can see it has this feature stock this google now swipe feature which is only coming till now as of today uh, on the rooted device as you can see 
I got this thing here working pretty much very cool. So this is the best thing. Now let's go and compare and see what are the features working or not. So I'm just going to compare it with the Google Pixel XL, which is running the latest, obviously the Android O launcher stuff. So first off, Google now swipe is working. All right. And you have this default Android messaging and, and this Google phone dialer. Swipe up is working. You got this blue search bar and you got this a blue, uh, you know, this is scroll bar thing here. And you have this five rows and six columns. You don't have this uh, recent application. So I read the post and it says like, you know, as of now, apporting the Android O is not possible until it is final. So hopefully you should get very soon once the Android O is final. And let's go give it a try some, some shortcuts. So you can see your yeah, first weather widgets is working pretty much fine. And you have this new GPL animation that we talked about earlier. You can see the G here is slightly disappearing. Weather is showing perfectly, that means it is working cool and uh, it shows the current location. You can see perfectly working fine, even it does updates better than Google. <laughs> oh sorry, my network is not available here. So I'm just quickly gonna turn on the network. So let's give a try here and see. App shortcuts are working fine and not, so I'm just going inside this Google Play Store. So you can see, that's why I said guys, you can see here, uh, this your stuff. Play Store is working. So it needs Android 7.1.1. If I just go and compare the same or the same EPK stall on the 7.0, so this thing is not working. So in case you're trying that on the below to the 7.1.1, this thing is not going to work. And uh, going inside the app draw, let's see uh, what are things working here or not. So I'm just gonna try here on YouTube. So I'm getting the same here, trending search and Subscription. So this widget info actually this is the Android O Pixel launcher feature. Otherwise, you're gonna get the same thing. All right, guys, and let's go and try out the messaging. See here. So it shows some direct since this is the first time I installed, so there is no shortcut. And other things, Google Drive. So you can see here Google Drive things working fine. Except this widget and app info has said, you guys, this is Android O feature. Now, what are things you are not going to get here? For example, I heard that some of the you know voice input features not working and also you're not going to get this wallpaper feature now it came so earlier it doesn't came so in case it is not coming you guys have to make sure to install this uh, google wallpaper application so then it will come so now it is pre-built the stone so that is great thing actually and uh, but uh, let's see, uh, give a try on the galaxy s8 which is running the 7.0 that we are getting this uh, wallpaper feature yes it is coming perfectly fine so guys, as you can see, most of the things are working. So check the video description. Please read the Reddit comment. And guys, please do not comment me on this, uh, uh, my comment section on YouTube, like it is not working. So I'm just showing you guys a possible way because you know I cannot test obviously in you know, all the platforms as I don't have that much devices too. Otherwise, I will definitely love to test that. So please follow the link, read the comments in the Reddit. Uh, you may get your solution best for your phone in case you still do not get solution. I like that like this developer is immediately responding to the people. So we just go down there and you can see here. So he's uh, so much active. You can see within just few hours, he's commenting to all of the people. So here's the developer name to show you here. You can see the comment here. This is uh, Amir Jali. So he's personally uh, replying to each of the comments. So guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the new Pixel launcher for your Android device on all of the smartphones, all of the Android devices, starting from the Android Lollipop 5.0 API 21. It's not going to work on Zelly Bean or KitKat. I already have tried that because of some restrictions. So please let me know the, down in the comments for which device did you try it and for which it did work. So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Have a great day.